This is a super simple tech review of Cody's ESPN Play add-on, which supports ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, ESPN News, ESPN Deportes, ESPN3, original content, and much, much more. ESPN is the go-to source for your daily sports fix, and the ESPN add-on offers HD streams, but at a cost. An existing cable subscription with ESPN. This review is broken into the following categories. Each category gets a score of 1 to 5, 1 being pretty crappy to 5 being excellent. The main page has easy access to the main ESPN channels including ESPN, ESPN2, as well as a few links to some recent games. You can also see the background image changes to match the channel. The add-on also has additional content formatted specifically for your Kodi device. In this example, under Android TV, you have access to the live channels, historic games. Also, what's nice is the background image matches the stream. Original content including OJ Made in America, Latest News, Browse by Sport, Classic, and also Browse by Channel. Now let's look at the quality of streams. Each stream loads quickly and comes through at 720p. Under must scene moments you can even see things like dogs on ice. Go! And they're off! A close one! Lola runs into Scooby, Scooby all the way for first and Channel availability depends on your ESPN subscription back to the cable service. The add-on will automatically detect if you have access to it, then will start showing or give you this following error message. At this point you can actually hide the channels that you don't have access to. The add-on also has a great selection of configuration settings. Simply open up the context menu on the add-on and select add-on settings. Under playback you can change the quality of the streams, change what channels are displayed on the home screen, remove menus for devices that you don't own, even change some of the main page formatting. Overall pretty good list of configuration settings. After disabling some of the menu options here's my updated home page. Overall a lot of great content at high quality streams. The installation process is actually quite easy. The add-on is already part of Cody's existing repository, so there's nothing to download or no zip files to install. Simply go into your existing video add-ons, then install. Afterwards, there's a fairly easy authentication process to link to your existing ESPN subscription. To install, select System, scroll down, and select Add-ons. Select Install from Repository. Scroll down and select Video Add-ons. Scroll down and select ESPN3. Then select Install. The add-on will download and install with a notification on the bottom right hand corner. Now let's set up a super easy shortcut for the home screen. Select System. Choose Appearance. Under Skin, select Settings. Under Add-on Shortcuts, scroll down to Home Page Video Submenu and select the first open option. Scroll down and select the ESPN Play add-on. Now you have a super easy shortcut to launch the ESPN Play add-on. The first time you launch the add-on, you need to select Authenticate with Provider to access premium content. Open up a browser, go to https slash es.pn slash apple tv and enter the activation code. After the page loads, select your provider, then enter in your access code, and finally log in to your cable provider. If everything works out, you'll get a confirmation saying that your device is now activated. Go back to Kodi and select continue. Once you see the authentication confirmation, select OK. And the ESPN content will now load. Overall, this is a quality add-on with great visuals, excellent streams, easy configuration and installation, 
The only downside is your authentication back to your cable service. See the show notes for details used throughout this video.